Mm. Are, are you, do you want me to start or do you want me to let you write notes? No, go ahead, dude. I can, I can write and listen at the same time. Are you sure? Yeah, dude. I do fucking, you promise? I'm basically Because sometime, sometimes sometimes right you're now. not good at listening and listening at the same time. What? What? <laughs> We are in again. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Chris and Kyle show. Spoilers for Ford V Ferrari. Ford versus Ferrari. Do you say verse still, right? Like if you're saying it? it, it yeah, out loud. I do. Yeah, why would you say V, right? That'd be dumb. Ford V Ferrari. Ferrari? <laughs> Who's Ford that? V Ferrari. Ford versus Ferrari. The film. Starring Christian Bale and Matt Damon, directed by James Mangold, the dude who made Logan. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. <laughs> this movie's really fucking good. Yeah. Really enjoyed Fuck, this you, movie. Did you look at the Rotten Tomato scores? Uh, I, I know it's like morning. 92 or something I saw on, on 91 commercials. 91 from critics. 99% from audience members. Running the game. Fuck am I saying? Jesus. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. It's really good, dude. Yeah, it's fucking great. It's a great ass movie. So I heard a re- uh, a review on another podcast for this movie like over a month ago, um, that was saying how good this movie is and how funny it is, and how this uh, they, they talked about how the supporting cast does a really good job of sort of uh, adding on to the to the lead performance. Like the lead performances are great, but the supporting cast really fills out the movie. Right. And something they mentioned was that. It's, I haven't seen this movie, but I know that you love this movie, so I want to get your, your take on this, is that they were sort of reminded of the movie Rush mm-hmm. by this movie. I was sitting a here, movie that I know you really like. I was sitting here writing down different names of movies that had uh, that were like focused on car racing and driving. Fast movies. Right. Speed. Is speed driving? I don't even know what speed is. I just you, say it. You ever seen speed? I don't think so. It's actually really good, man. Yeah. It's a fun action movie. It's, it's Keanu Reeves. Oh, wait. See, I thought that was Jason Statham. Speed? What am I thinking of? Crank? Crank? Have I done this on the show before? Maybe. Where I mix those two up? Not sure. Crank is the one where like his heart... There are two different kinds of drugs. Crank is the one where like he can't let his heart slow down, right? Exactly. And he like jerks off and shit to keep his heart rate up. I don't know if he jerks off. He definitely does. He definitely does. I know he he fucks. Maybe that's what it is. He fucks Amy Amy Smart in like the middle of his street. Wow. Yeah. Keep the heart rate going. In order to... Okay. This heart rate going. Crazy. This is a ridiculous movie. Yeah, I didn't like it. Speed isn't as ridiculous, uh, but it's super fun. Keanu. Keanu. Uh, Sandra Bullock, I believe, is oh, okay. the person who. Okay. Do, do you know the premise of Speed? Uh, you have to go fast. Speed. <laughs> speed kills. You have to go fast. Speed kills. Not really. It's kind of slowness kills in Speed. The whole point. The whole point is that like this uh, dude put a bomb on a on a bus, and if the bus slows down. Uh, lower than fucking thirty miles per oh, hour. Oh, so it's like when it's like uh, Batman's plan to beat the Flash in Justice League Doom. He has to run, and if yes, he slows down, yes, the bomb exact, will explode. Exactly like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a good plan. So I was uh, <laughs> uh, thinking of all the different driving. Movies. I was like, I was like, what are the all the driving movies that I like? like drive. So I was like, drive, driven, baby drove, <laughs> drove, driver. <laughs> Uh, Days of Thunder. You said Baby Driver. I think I. I'm, I did. I, say I just want to get it in there because it's, it's a really good movie. I did say Baby Driver. Okay. Uh, yeah, and Rush was. The, I was like, I was like, there's a big one that I'm forgetting. Of. I still haven't seen Rush. I know you loved it. Rush was really surprising for me because I had like a, <clears throat> probably like for like a, the first act of that movie, I was like, this is a bad movie. Oh, I was wow. like, I, I was like, this is just this is not good. And there's something that happens in the middle of the movie. That like if you're familiar with the the story itself, like it, I mean, it wouldn't be spoiling anything. But I'm still not going to spoil that movie for anybody yeah. who hasn't actually watched it yet. Daniel Bruhl doesn't know baby. anything about the, the the actual story. Um, but it's fucking really good. I love Rush. Um, this movie is like for sure. Like I could see why everyone is like enjoying it more. It's like a more enjoyable movie than okay. than Rush. And the characters in this movie, I would much rather much rather hang out with them, spend time. Yeah, uh, Matt Damon and Christian Bale are both really likable. Yeah, so Carol Shelby and uh, Ken Miles, uh, played by Matt Damon and Christian Bale, respectively. Um, they're Christian Bale, very funny. In this so movie. they're both really fucking mm-hmm. funny, and they both have like you, this you know, like charisma. You know what I like, like about it? It's like they were like, oh man, we need an actor to play someone who is notoriously difficult. 
but incredibly gifted at what they do. Let's get the guy who is that in real life Christian Bale. Mm -hmm. Notoriously hard to work with. Yeah. Kind of mean to people on set. Right. But incredible, an incredible actor. Yeah. He just did himself. Himself as a good dad. Very good dad movie. I love it. I love a good dad movie. Yeah. Seeing bad dads makes me sad. I did not mean to rhyme that. <laughs> but like, no, I get it's you. very upsetting. S- seeing it's nice bad to see dads just makes me mad. <laughs> seeing bad dads is bad. I would say it's the opposite of rad. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Enough of this. Will you be glad if I stop? <laughs> yes. All right, so... Fuck, where, where are we going to start with this movie? All right, so uh, obviously, uh, great father-son relationship. It's almost like... Not Noah Jupe, like, dude. Good kid actor. It's, oh, Wonder, that's his name. Quiet Place. Uh-huh. This movie, that kid's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he do, uh, does really well. Does that kid not age? No, nope. I feel like he's, he's been that permanently age. permanently 12? <laughs> yeah. Ish. How long has that kid been 12 years old? A long time. Because it's like... There's so many kid actors that you you're like you see them in the next movie and you're like, and you're oh, like man. oh look how much older they are like I mean the Stranger Things kids stand out yeah. especially for something like that yeah definitely <clears throat> he was born in 2005 oh my god he has the same birthday as my brother Ian oh that's sweet but nine years later that's weird uh, Time to stop that one. Uh, I'm sorry it's like I got the same birthday as uh, uh, John Mayer and Tim Robbins that's kind of cool. But it's, it's it's fairly cool. I have the same birthday as Michael B. Jordan. I'm super proud of it. Mm-hmm. It's my greatest mm-hmm. accomplishment. Yeah. <laughs> a couple years later, I was like, my turn. Yeah. So he's 14 in real life. I don't know when they filmed this movie. Or A Quiet Place. Right. Or Wonder. I feel like if we went back and watched Wonder, he would look younger. Maybe. And anyway, he's, very, he's a nice boy in Wonder. He plays a nice young lad. He's the friend. Until... I mean, he makes up for it. We're not talking about Wonder. I'm sorry. Right now. Wonder's good. Okay. Uh, and so is Vo- uh, Ford v. Harari. <laughs> Stop saying Harari. What? I said Harari again? <laughs> yes. Maybe it's the V that's throwing me off. Ford versus Ferrari. Ford versus Ferrari. So the, the, the plot of this film is essentially F- Henry Ford II, which is used, that just his name is used wonderfully as an insult in this movie. Savage, savage move by uh, Mr. Ferrari to insult him by calling him his name. Right. Uh, But basically, Mr. Ford makes the decision that he wants to beat Mr. Enzo Ferrari at the, what is it called? 24 Hours of Le Mans? Uh, Of Le Mans, yeah. What is that? Is that still a thing? Is it still it a seems race? really. I don't dangerous. know. Man. It seems super dangerous. I don't know. So okay, here's the thing. Yeah, like, and I think this is, gives a lot of credit to the movie itself. Like, neither one of us are like huge car guys. I don't know jack about cars. Like, I know more about cars than you, and I pro- on a scale of one to ten, probably know about like one or two. Yeah. Like, and, and, I know how to I change still, tires. Yeah, that's a good thing to know. Mm-hmm. That's a good thing to know. You ch- check your oil. You yeah, your oil? I actually have to change my oil right now. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, neither one of us are car guys, but we still like fucking really enjoy this movie. Yeah. Uh, obviously like the, the relationships and everything that like exists in this movie, like everyone's really charismatic. There's Mm -hmm. a lot of really good Mm -hmm. performances. It's really well directed and stuff like that. But like this movie's really fucking kinetic. Yeah. Uh, like it, it, it it moves really well. Mm -hmm. And all of that, the action stuff is like just, yeah, it's it's like a lot of like, uh, the the car stuff specifically, like you really feel the the danger and the speed. Fuck mm-hmm. that opening sequence when he's driving in the fog and the rain. Oh yeah, no thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. No thank you, sir. Yeah, not about that. It's insane. It's a lot of like low angles to do it. It seemed like uh huh. But uh, uh yeah, it, and it's just like really action packed. But like mm-hmm. the movie, like kind of. It doesn't feel like an action movie. You no, know what not, I mean? not at all. Like, like you get a, 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 as much of the sort of like, like gripping sort of like, like uh, on the edge of your seat kind of action, but it doesn't feel like an action movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the most part, it feels like, you know, a, a good drama. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's what it is. Yeah. But yeah. like, uh, it, it's still kinetic in a way that. Yeah, uh, for sure. And like, even 
I think Christian Bale helps with that in the sequence, the driving sequences, mm-hmm. because he has a character while he's driving, the way he's like shit talking the people around him <laughs> himself. He's like flirting with his car while he drives. All of those things I think really help with those scenes. Yeah. He's so mean to people around him. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I love good driving movies or good like pilot movies. <clears throat> I love mm-hmm. it when I like, I don't know what it is. Like th- there's something fucking so well, awesome. It's just cool. So fucking yeah. cool about seeing someone who's like really good at driving yeah. or really good at fucking pirating shit. Um, pirating? pirating? Dude, I can't Look at me. L's and R's. Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> Big fan. There's no pirates in this movie, guys. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I don't know. Matt Damon goes kind of pirate when he fucks around with them a little bit. He steals their stopwatches. Yeah, I, like, and you, I think that both both of these guys probably would have been pirates, you know? If they were around back then? Yeah. I could definitely see that. For sure. For sure. Uh, and it's They're like building the fastest skiff on the sea. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that would be cool. And there's like such a, I don't know, this movie could have so easily been like really cliche. And I think that was one of really the by the was, numbers. Well, really while it was one of the reasons why I was kind of tentative to see it, you know, and kind of like, Oh, well we're going to do that. A spoiler podcast about that. Like, mm. you know, I'm, I'm not too excited about that. Yeah. I had to drag Chris into the movie theater, kicking and screaming. <sighs> He was like, I hate Christian Bale. Basically. Matt Damon's a terrible actor. Why would Pretty I much. want to watch this film? Pretty much. Good one. Hunting. James Mangold has no track record of making good stuff. Exactly. I, yeah. yeah, I was basically screaming that. I knocked him out, and, and when he woke up, he was yeah. in his movie theater seat. Yeah. Yeah, you gave me some chloroform. Yep. Uh, yep. Tasted like pennies. <laughs> uh, this movie could have so easily been cliche, you mm-hmm. know, especially with the the sort of dynamic that was going throughout the uh, entire film of, you know, the the these drivers, the people who are like really good at fucking racing cars, yeah. right? With uh, Carol Shelby and Ken Miles, right? And, and how one who can't of, anymore because of his heart condition. Well, exactly. Yeah. But like the sort of, um, and the sort of dynamic between them uh, as well as these the suits, right? Yeah. Like the my boy Josh Lucas, he fucking a, Josh he, Lucas. He mean in this movie. Uh, he's a bad dude. Fucking, come on, Coach Haskins. He's definitely the the antagonist throughout. Yeah, this absolutely. Film. He's the only he's, antagonist. Well, I mean, even Henry Ford. I mean, I guess Ferrari, you, kind of. But at the, the end of the thing. day, Ferrari is like, you know, he gives him respect. He's like, you did a good, and you kind of like Ferrari. Yeah, right. Because well, he's yeah, because like he's fucking his cool. Guns. Yeah, he's like, cool. Yeah, he talks mad shit. Yeah, he talks mad shit. Like he doesn't. I love that scene. Bow down. To I forward. love the scene when he's like, "Tell me what they said about me," and John Bernthal just tells him yeah. every insult. <laughs> he said, "You're fat, sir, and uh, you make bad cars, and uh, your factory is ugly." And uh, he said that you're Henry Ford the second, not Henry Ford. Yeah. <laughs> And Josh Lucas is also like kind of like the only unlikable person in the movie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't think that there's anybody else that I would say that I didn't like in this movie. Like everyone is really charismatic and they have their own, like even fucking, uh, Henry Ford the second, like yeah. he has a lot of really fun. Uh, the scene, the like, scene when they, when he brings him in the car is great. Yeah. When Matt Damon <laughs> yeah. whips him around in the car and he's like crying and screaming. It's <laughs> weird how that, that, I mean, that scene is a really good example of like the sort of, lines that this movie is able to you know bounce in between because mm-hmm. you know it goes from being like sort of like this weird action uh scene because yeah. he's like you're seeing a fast car and yeah shit. um <clears throat> and he's fucking driving around cones and doing donuts or w- whatever right uh and then it immediately goes into fucking henry ford crying his fucking eyes out yeah and it's hilarious yeah and then it goes into like an intimate moment yeah where he's like i had two. no idea and he was like man i really wish that my father was around mm-hmm. to to see this yeah you know, because this is like such an excellent piece of machinery. Yeah. So you're just like, oh man, like he does like really he cares. Like care about yeah. his fucking legacy. Um, yeah. And like he's intro- not- he's introduced as like a hard ass, like mm-hmm. this dude who's like doing, he's feeling the pressure of his company not succeeding the way that he wants it to. And he's like desperate for someone to come yeah. up with something in that yeah. opening scene in the factory where he like demands everyone bring him ideas and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, well, and there's also and then he's very like, mean to John Bernthal during his PowerPoint presentation. There would have been a really, like it, it could have been really easy for him to just be kind of this like one note character, especially mm-hmm. like after with the the the, Hen, the Enzo Ferrari thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. with him being like, "Oh, you're not just Henry Ford; you're Henry Ford the second. 
mm-hmm. you know, giving that insult directly to Henry Ford and like seeing like him react to that, you know, like it's, it could have been really easy to paint him as just like this sort of like, uh, you know, kind of he, incompetent, he, well, it, this in, incompetent idiot that took over, uh, uh, yeah. you, you his know, dad's company genius. doesn't really yeah. care, you know, mm-hmm. but he does really like yeah. fucking care and wants the, the best for his company. But so he's still likable. Josh Lucas, <laughs> his name is Josh Lucas, right? I feel yeah. like I fuck up oh. with names with, uh, yes. Lucas a lot. Yes. His name Lucas is Josh. Hedges. Yes. His name is somebody. Josh Lucas. Yeah. Lucas Hedges. Good actor. Yeah. Uh, AKA, Lucas Hedges is AKA Manchester Don Haskins. Haskins. Yes. Uh, Josh Lucas is Don Haskins from Glory Road, yes. right? Yes. Uh, That's my coach. Yeah. I know him more from Sweet Home Alabama. Sure. Yeah. I so only know him from <laughs> Glory Road. And the trailer for that movie that came out last Easter that we saw a bajillion times about the kid who falls on the ice. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like I saw that trailer so many times that I know exactly what happens in that movie. Right. And it's not a good movie. Just gonna, I'm just gonna guess. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that that movie's bad. Um, yeah, he's such a yes man. Yeah, Josh Lucas. Not in this movie. not only that, what's but his he's, name? Abibi? A Le, 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 Leo Bibi? Leo, I think something like that. I think it's Lee Obibi. No, it's Leo Bibi. Fawawi. <laughs> <laughs> I dwell a Fawawi. No, it's Leo Bibi. Oh, it's Leo Bibi. Yes, not Lee. OBB. Leo. OBB. BB. <laughs> There's some wild names, dude. Carol Shelby is a crazy name. Mm-hmm. Lee Iacocca? Yeah. Crazy name. The thing is, they're all real you people. You ever met a man named Carol? No. My if grandma's. I ever met a, a man named my grandma's Carol, maiden name is Carol. And he fucking could rock the charisma that Matt Damon had in this movie. Man. I like when he locks Josh Lucas in his office. That was great. Power move, baby. Yeah. Power move. Mm-hmm. I love it. Uh, but yeah, he's he, Josh Lucas is clearly the antagonist of the movie. He's the he's the most suit of the suits. He's the guy like he wants to find a way to get credit for everything that's happening without doing any of the work. Mm-hmm. He's the one who wants things to go like his way, right? So that he is is rewarded in some in some fashion. Mm-hmm. He wants to exert his his influence over the project as much as possible, mm-hmm. mostly through trying to not have Ken drive, right? And, the and then at the time, end, he fucks them with his idea. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and he's also like, <clears throat> I saw this a lot in the Navy. Like, it, it, I don't know. It was just like, it was always suspect when you, like, when I met someone who they were only disagreeable with the people that were under, under them, them. In, the, in like, in any kind of power dynamic situation, you know, like. I feel like I felt like usually the people who were the biggest dicks to me were the ones who were the biggest suck ups to the people above them. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I get it. Hmm. It's a bad quality. Yeah. Fucking uh, Lee Iacocca, uh, played by John Bernthal. I love in this that movie. Dude. I Fucking, love John Bernthal. Like, like he's not in this movie a lot, really. He's in it more in the beginning than yeah. later on. Yeah. He's in it in the beginning. He's like the one who gets the thing rolling. Mm-hmm. And then he's kind of phased out of it yeah. by Josh Lucas, kind of. Mm-hmm. And he's just kind of there as someone to be like, hey, 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 hey. yeah. <laughs> like he's just like, look how fast we're going. <laughs> um, well, but he, he kind of has the opposite uh, of that, right? Like we talked about the scene with um, him fucking restating all the things that Enzo Ferrari had mm-hmm. told him. Earlier yeah, he's on. got guts. Yeah, like and he's, he's got not gu- going to, gusto. And he's not going to be a fucking yes man. Yeah. Um, like, so yeah. And I, the idea I just enjoyed and, uh, a lot of the little like subtle things that yeah. they did with the, a lot of the social dynamics with this movie. What? So I knew this was a true story and I'd heard a lot of people talk about how the, the story is like crazy and like it had to have a movie made about it and all these kind of things. And I didn't know how it ended. Mm-hmm. I got, I avoided right. trying to learn anything about the story until I saw the movie. Mm-hmm. Were you expecting Ken to die? Especially in the fashion he did. I wouldn't say that, like... It definitely hit me. Yeah. The death hits you. It's like yeah. it's a really gripping well, and dramatic it's, death. It's definitely... It hits but, you, I think, even harder because you think you're past the danger. The race mm-hmm. is over. You think that, like, the... The sort of... Uh, uh, tragic is too strong a word, but, uh-huh. like, the bummer of an ending thing is the fact that he didn't technically win. Mm-hmm. Even though everyone in the world knows... He was the best racer out there. Right. 
It's because he made the decision to come in all this. And then there's that weird yeah. technicality. Well, you think that's like the, the ooh bummer moment. And then 10 minutes later, five minutes later, he dies testing their next car. Yeah. Brutal. And yeah. his kid is there. Yeah. And after having that great scene with pops earlier in the movie where he talks about getting out of the car, yeah. that was a great scene. Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. Really, really rough. Um, this movie's got balls, man. Like, I don't know about you, but like, I kind of, I, cause I didn't know the ending of this movie. I didn't yeah, know how didn't the race either. was going to end and stuff like that. I kind of thought it was going to be, you know, a fucking, you know, a head to head race with fucking the, the Ferrari. No, team. For, I was so surprised when the Ferrari car went out. I was like, Oh yeah. And, and I mean, it's based on real life. So but, like they can't, you know, but that's like, what happened. it kind of, you expect that to be the climax of the film mm -hmm. and they have the balls to be like, no, the real climax of this movie Fighting against themselves is going to be, yeah, is going to be Ken like, against himself, Ken almost. against himself and whether or not he's going to be able to be a team player. Yeah. I'm such like, a sucker for him just being like, fuck you. Oh, yeah. yeah and then definitely. just doing like the fastest lap ever. I would have understood. If he way. whooped their asses, I would have been like, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> because he goes out there and does that. For, yeah. Like he, when they tell him that he needs to fucking slow down, he's like, fuck you. Yeah. And then he does that first lap that and he fucking breaks his own record. Yeah. That he set earlier in the race. <laughs> yeah. I love, I love that scene of Matt. Like one, Matt Damon's performance, I think, in that scene is great. When Josh Lucas comes down and tells him and he freaks out and he gets, yeah. he gets really mad. He's like, you stay away from my driver. Yeah. And then when he goes and tells him and they talk about it, I thought that was a really good scene. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, car's yours, Ken. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. I thought that was cool. Uh, did you think at all about uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood when you were watching this movie? Uh, only when they were whipping around the streets of Los Angeles dangerously. In a convertible? In a, yeah, in yeah. like a nice car. Yeah, and it's yeah. like also a period piece, so you're seeing things in the background. It's yeah. not It's not as like uh, like uh, d depicting old Hollywood, mm -hmm. uh, but like you see certain parts. like You just see older cars, well, and like weird the, billboards. The, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I forgot where I was going with that. Uh, okay, so there was a couple things. So there, was, there was that, right? Like, especially in the beginning when you know, There's you the see part someone. where they try to murder Margot Robbie. Exactly. Yes. No. Um, the, but, like, the friendship element between... True. Yeah, uh, that's a good point. Carol Shelby. Yeah. And, I mean, it, like, the overall... It's very like, bromance. The, it's, a, it's, it's a bromance yeah, movie. Yeah, it definitely it's, is. It's, like, really enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> both movies kind of have, like, these two guys, and you have one who's, like, a straight-up, like badass a renegade has, he was a renegade a renegade war veteran oh yeah <laughs> a renegade war veteran that like doesn't get along with a lot of people yeah. but is still yeah. really good at what they do yeah um and then another person who's like sort of like has more of the power but like kind of has to they have to save face with a lot of people and they're also like on the the you know the back nine of their respective yep. careers you yep. know yeah, yeah. I, weird. The more, weird. That's weird. Yeah, a lot of very similar there. there. That's interesting. The more I talk about it, the more I realize that kind of makes me want to see an alternate universe where they switch roles. Do you, do you mean the actors? Yeah, where where Matt Damon and Christian Bale are in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, uh -huh. and where Leo and Brad Pitt are in Ford vs Ferrari. I just think it'd be interesting. Hmm. It'd be weird. What if that was a thing? Like you know, there's like cover songs. What if there was like cover movies where people just like made the same movie, but they just played a different actor play the role? Right. Not the way they do reboots, but oh my god, that is loud. Yep. Not like not like a reboot, just like straight up the same movie, just like with a different actors in the leading roles. <laughs> Didn't they kind of have to do that with uh, Kevin Spacey in the last movie he did? Did they? Fucking what was that movie? The, Baby was, Driver. N no, no, it was the movie about the the kid. That oh, got where kidnapped. they cast Christopher Plummer. Yeah. Right? Yes. But they, they did it after the fact. Yeah. And they had they to do a bunch of research. everything. Yeah. yeah. They had to do a bunch of I guess kind of. Yeah. I forgot what that fucking that movie was called. I'm so bummed that Kevin Spacey was in Baby Driver. Even though like <laughs> when Baby Driver came out, I was so excited that he was in it. And then it turned out he's a super creep freako boy. Yeah. And uh, now I'm like, that's a bummer. Because <laughs> like, he, it's weird, dude. He's like, he's as a child and he's like calling him baby and stuff. It's weird. Yeah. That's yeah. not cool, man. It's weird. It's weird. Not cool. Yeah. I still want to watch House of Cards, though. I want to watch the rest of House of Cards. I stopped watching after season three or four. I don't remember. Yeah. So I haven't seen the last, like, two or three I seasons. I saw, saw Robin Wright in the movie uh, this morning. Yeah? Yeah, dude. 
fucking movie about Abraham Lincoln. Like Robin after Wright. after his assassination. Very good actress. They had a bunch of fucking people in this movie directed by uh, Robert uh, Redford. Oh, James McAvoy, uh, Great Robin actor. Wright. Great actress. Fucking Shay Wiggum is in it for like hell a, yeah, a, a dude. Fleeting second. That boy. He's the he's the he's just he's a chameleon. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of people in that movie. But, yeah, we're not talking about that. Uh, Ford vs. Ferrari. I really enjoyed it. Do you think this movie will get Oscar buzz? Yeah. I think so. For sure. I think it'll get... There's a chance we'll see Matt Damon and or Christian Bale get nominated for something, I think. <clears throat> I think it'll probably get... Because, I mean, they do like 10 best pictures now. It'll probably get one of the best pictures. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure, like, how... Is it adapted tech- screenplay or would it be original screenplay? Is it based on something? It's based on real life, but I don't know if it's based on a book. Because if it's a real story, that doesn't mean it's adapted. Exactly. It has to be based on a book exactly. or a comic book or something. Because like Imitation Game was uh, yeah. was nominated for Best Original Screenplay, even though okay. it was based on real yeah, life. Yeah, I'm not sure if this was a book or something first. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I think there might have been like a documentary about it. Yeah, I'm not something. sure. And I'm, I'm also like not uh, well-informed enough to know if it's like going to be nominated for like technical proficiency. It probably stuff. will. Maybe. Maybe. There's a lot of car noises. <laughs> There's like, there is. It's a lot of. See, like this is why I think there should be like a stunt thing. Give those stunt drivers some love. Didn't John Bernthal just talk about this the other day? Did he? I, yeah, I saw something on. I, I've on seen people Reddit. talk about it. Like that, there should be stunt stunt performance yeah. should be an Oscar. Yeah. And uh, voice performance should be an Oscar. Yeah, I've seen before. Yeah. There that way, be. if there's ever a Knight Rider movie. Whoever voices the car can win an Oscar because I know it'll get it. It'll be that good. It's how powerful Knight Rider is. <laughs> Ford v. Ferrari. You got it right. I said it right that time. You got it right. I yeah. mean, you said it weird, but you got it right. Ford v. Ferrari. Um, did you know the 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 actress who played uh, Christian Bale's wife in this movie? No. I didn't recognize her. Nope, she's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna look she's up solid. her name right now. I'm trying to decide, like, out of the so out of like my six favorite movies about driving that you could think of off the top of your head that I could think of off the top of my her head. Her name is Catriona Balfi. Escape plan. I'd say I'd Outlander, say Outlander, Money Monster, Rush, and. Uh, and this one are like probably like like right next to each other. I really enjoy. You like these more than Drive. I yeah, Drive is a completely different movie, but I I definitely enjoy. Drive is really good. Drive yeah, for sure. I think I might like Baby Driver more too. You you might like I Baby really, Driver more than really I really loved Baby Driver. Driver. I really loved Baby Driver. I think that there's like I've never seen things that I love, but like I've, I've never seen Driven. You never seen Driven? No. People will laugh or at Days me. of Thunder. People will f- straight up fucking roast me. If they've ever seen Driven and like they fucking know that I have it on my list. Oh, is like it? Best okay. driving movies. Okay. You don't have any of the Fast movies on there. Uh, no. I mean, if, if, I would, they count as driving movies anymore. Once you get past Fast 4, they they change. They stop being yeah, driving exactly. movies. They start being superhero movies. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, throw the entire series and fucking one bullet there, I guess. Driven. Tokyo Drift. Driven. Uh, fucking sliced alone. Oh, movie. okay. And uh, does Mad Max count as a driving movie? Yeah, sure. Why not? Fury Road is really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like really, really, really good. Yeah. I'm not sure if I would have it in like. I don't know if it's the same category. It's it's, it's too diff- it's too weird and different right. to be in the same category. Right. It's a different thing. It's more of a post-apocalyptic ellipse. Post apocalypse movie than it yeah. is a driving movie. You could kind of like even eliminate Drive from that because it's so weird. That's it's, true. It's not about race he, cars. It's true. The rest yeah, of them you're are right. about race cars. Driven. Yeah, that's true. Days of Thunder. Not, not even Baby Driver. Yeah, eliminate ba- Baby. Baby Driver. Driver's a getaway driver. Rush. Days of Thunder. Uh, yeah. Driven. All race cars. Now movies. I've I've only seen one movie in your list, so Ford vs Ferrari is automatically my favorite. Days of Thunder. Tom Cruise. Oh, okay. Yeah, solid. Very consistent performer, Tom Cruise. Mm-hmm. Always solid. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen... This might surprise you, but uh, Tom Cruise actually plays the, the lead, and he's really good at driving. No! Yeah. It might surprise you. No way. <laughs> the real question is, did he actually drive the cars? <laughs> That's the real question. 
If he can drive jets. We all know he's flying the planes in Top Gun, if baby. He can, <laughs> if he can pirate jets. Yo, I loved when Carol Shelby flew the plane. <laughs> he's like, like, there's a part of you that's like, wait, does he actually know what he's doing? <laughs> or is he winging it? Winging it. That's a joke by accident. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't think we have anything else to say about this movie other than the fact that it is really, really good. Because he caught, caught Chris off guard a little bit. He was not expecting the quality of film. Um, yeah, pleasant was, pleasant was, surprise. Uh, yeah, I was, yeah, I was delightfully surprised. Uh, it's not, it's, it's not going to be uh, paint by numbers. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's going to, uh, I mean, I wouldn't even say like surprise you as far as like the, where the yeah, movie it's plot, The plot's goes. not very surprising. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just not, fresh as you go through it. Yeah, it's yeah. fairly predictable in that sense, but like the quality and yeah. like the enjoyment. I think the humor fucking really Yeah, it's funny. very funny. Very funny movie. Um. Yeah, check it out. What are we doing? We what else we have coming up? Uh, Parasite and Dolomite is my name and Knives Out for Thanksgiving, but that's not for a while. I'm excited. I'm do, excited for Knives Out. We have to do a Waves episode. Waves. That's the other one. We have yes. to do a waves, waves, waves is the other one. I'm too excited for that. Waves right doesn't have a wide release yet, but it is showing in some theaters around here, so we'll probably go see it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that movie looks amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, check us out on the social medias. Uh, find Chris's scripts, chrismichaelstott.com. Find him on Instagram at chrismichaelstott. I am davinwell25 on Twitter and Instagram. The show is The Chris and Kyle Show on YouTube, on all podcasting platforms, on Facebook, on Instagram. It is Pod on Twitter. That's all we got. We out. We out. Stay weird.